Looking at a sketch released by police earlier today. People in the area where the latest attack occurred are speaking up tonight. They want to help catch him. Two News reporter Patricia Santos is live near 4th in Quebec where the latest attack occurred. Karen, I've been talking to people in this neighborhood all evening long, and it sounds like many of them have some good information that could help, hopefully help police catch the suspect. Neighbors are nervous, scared, and angry. It's putting us on such high alert that I think everyone's going to be watching for everybody now. Ashley doesn't want us to show her face, but she wants the man who attacked her neighbor stopped. She's such a sweet lady. She's been here for 30 years, and... I just wish it wouldn't have happened to her. I wish it wouldn't happen to anybody. The neighbor assaulted in her home early this morning, but managed to help police come up with this sketch. Evidence behind Ashley's backyard indicates the man might have also been looking into her home. Police recovered evidence from there. We did hear a loud slam in our backyard and you know, we thought it was just the window and the wind, but we wasn't for sure. Several neighbors, including Billy White, remember seeing a man with a similar look. And I saw that person walking down the street. Why didn't he stand out to you? Because he was wearing a dirty white t-shirt and it was 3 o'clock in the morning. I mean, I felt he, he looked like he was homeless, maybe. Comparing notes with other neighbors, other details stand out. I saw a car parked a few houses down um, a couple days ago with a blanket. Um, kind of tucked out of its trunk uh, covering the tag. And this is such a tight neighborhood around here that it just looks suspicious. And that neighbor did give police a description of that vehicle. No word yet on whether that's important to the case or not. Now, I am told this is a very tight-knit community where neighbors really do know each other.